hey guys how is everybody <clears throat> i'm just checking in and um so this morning you know i was praying really really hard and i got an awesome revelation from jesus um you know we don't always understand things that jesus makes us do you know like he <clears throat> never said that he says don't test him but he never said he wouldn't test us and you know today he revealed that he's um sorting out the wheat and the tares and you know if you haven't been following from the beginning it's very easy to just make a judgment and say oh she's a false prophet because you know she claimed a date not knowing the situation or what's going on but i will tell you <laughs> so much of what jesus has told me has come true in a lot of past videos and um if you haven't been following me, you will not realize that. But the people <laughs> that have been following me and that have asked Jesus for confirmation have received it, which is why they're still following me because they know the spirit of the Holy Spirit is in me because I always claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God. He's God and he came to earth as a man in the flesh. He bled on the cross and died for our sins. He was born of a virgin and he rose on the third day. <clears throat> I always claim that. And a spirit of antichrist will not claim that. And um, he reminded me today to look at Jonah. Jonah tried to run from God. What did God do? A fish swallow, or whale swallowed him up, you know? Moses tried to run from Jesus. What happened to Moses? So here's the thing, guys. <clears throat> I would never speak anything if I didn't think it was God. I wouldn't because I know how God feels about false prophecy. But I know the conviction of the Holy Spirit. I've been saved for 12 years. And the same conviction that tells me to, um, you know, puts on my heart to pay for somebody their meal or buy them a, a coffee at Starbucks or just random things <clears throat> to put on my heart for somebody is the Holy Spirit. You know, he changes you and convicts you and God renews your mind and um, he gives you a new heart of flesh and gets rid of the heart of stone. So when all this started happening, <clears throat> God said to me, you can't love the world in me because I used to love to shop. That's all I used to do. And, you know, see, I think I know God's plan. The fact that I had spoke presumptuously about a date you know, of course, everybody, including Christians, will freak out about that. So what happened? <clears throat> the video went viral. So what happened? Everyone is stitching and talking about it. So guess what? God's glory is about to come. Because he told me on the day that this happened that don't worry, my child. They're going to see that you're truly, truly hearing from me. <clears throat> so guys, I would be careful. Because words are going to condemn you. You know, Jesus knows our hearts. And, you know, you're saved by faith and grace. His grace. Um, <clears throat> but he's, he's, he's sorting out the wheat and the tares. And um, a lot of people are failing, majorly. Even Christians. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not saying they're losing salvation. If you truly believe in Jesus, you won't lose your salvation. It's more of like rewards in heaven. Um, but... I always just say, ask Jesus, ask Jesus for discernment, ask Jesus for truth, because he allows everything. He knows everything I'm going to speak. <clears throat> and, you know, Jesus has blessed me on so many things and he gives me strength and faith to go on, even when everyone around me doesn't support it. You know, I have to make him first in my life, <clears throat> even though... I don't want to lose anyone or anything. I still have to make him first, and it's hard. You have to have that childlike faith <clears throat> and that conviction. But here's the message for today. Deuteronomy 3, 5. All these cities were fortified with high walls, gates, and bars, besides a great many royal towns. 
Leviticus 2, 7. If your offering is a grain offering baked in a covered pan, it shall be made fine of flour with oil. Amos 3, 4. Will a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he has caught nothing? Zephaniah 2, 9. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, surely Moab shall be like Sodom, and the people of Ammon like Gomorrah like Gomorrah, overrun with weeds and salt pits and a perpetual desolation. The residue of my people shall plunder them and the remnant of my people shall possess them. Job 14.11 As water disappears from the sea and a river becomes parched and dries up. 1 Thessalonians 3, six. But now that Timothy has come to us from you and brought us good news of your faith and love and that you always have good remembrance of us greatly desiring to see us as we also to see you. James 2, 5, listen, my beloved brethren, has God not chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him? John 4, 9, then the woman of Samaria said to him, how is it that you being a Jew asked to drink from me, a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Genesis 21, 3, <clears throat> and Abraham called the name of the son who was born to him, whom Sarah bore to him, Isaac. Exodus 4.11, so the Lord said to him, who has made man's mouth or who makes the mute, the deaf, the seeing, or the blind, have not I the Lord. Here's the message. My children, your hearts are so wicked and your eyes are so blind. You only see what is right in front of you. You put limitations on me and what I have been speaking. I am the creator of heaven and earth. I split the Red Sea. I pour down vengeance on the wicked. Have you prayed to me for discernment? Have you asked me what my plans are? Why are you judging and condemning your neighbor? I told you to take this time to reflect, seek, pray, and worship me. Have you done that? Have you opened the Bible today? How many minutes a day do you read my word? How many minutes a day do you pray on your brother and sister? in Christ seeking whom you may devour. I told you, you will eat your words. My destruction and vengeance is coming for the wicked. It's coming for the unbelievers, the mockers and scoffers who doubt that I exist. I told you to come with love and correction, but you don't. You embarrass and you publicly shame your neighbor. Is this spirit of love, gentleness, and kindness? So ask yourselves, what spirit is truly talking to you? It's not the Holy Spirit. Has my anointed ones bashed you? Have they come with anger and malice towards you? I tell you the truth. You have faith like a child is to see the unseen. My prophets do not know all the plans I have stored for them. They prophesy in part, but they have childlike faith and they trust in me. They are willing to lose everything to gain that perfect peace in me. I told you not to dump your oil lamps. I told you to keep them filled to the brim and let them spill over. Keeping your oil lamps full is believing me, is having childlike faith. You mock and scoff is not the fruit of the spirit. It's the fruit of the devil. I gave you the seven day warning to get on the boat. So are you sinking or drowning right now? Everything I say means something. The world knows what is coming. The elite knows what is coming. I have allowed it to commence. You will see their preparation is not bestowed upon them. It is detrimental and of utter importance to prepare for what I have allowed to come. My judgment is here. I will catch up my bride and yes, you will never know the day or the hour. So my words mean something. Reader, pay attention. Everything I speak means something. The pole shift, it's coming. The EMP, it's coming. Radioactive waves, it's coming. I am trying to warn you because I wish for not one to perish. I speak in parables and riddles which man will never understand. Only the Spirit will have true understanding. Are you led by the Holy Spirit? Are you seeking Him for discernment? Some of you have changed your hearts and you have come to believe in me. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. But some of you are stone cold, full of pride, and your words and your hearts will make you perish. You will see my glory and every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess. I am Lord. I love you, children. Put down your wicked ways and trust in me. Pray to me and worship me. I will never lead you astray and you will always be guided by the fruit of the Spirit. Silence in heaven won't be forever. It will be over very soon. I'm sorting out the wheat and the tares and you will all soos you will all soon see your fruits. I'm your Lord God and I have spoken. Colossians 1.3 We give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. 1 Peter 2.8 And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, they stumble being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. 1 Timothy 2.3 For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. John 4.11 The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do I get that living water? 1 John 5, 6, this is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not only by water, but by water and blood, and is the spirit who bears witness, because the spirit is truth. Okay, guys, have a blessed day. Believe in Jesus. Ignore the Telegram and the WhatsApp people on YouTube because they're trying to scam you. God bless.